one dark night in a small town, something is in the air. A girl is running as a beast chases her through the night. Desperate, she looks around for someone who might help her, but there is no one around. In the end, the beast corners her. Knowing nothing about this tragedy, a woman named Carol comes to town to make a new life for herself. As she sits at the bar, a drunken man flirts with her. Despite her efforts to drive him away, he refuses to leave. Suddenly, another man intervenes and knocks him away from her, punching him right in the jaw. He introduces himself as Jake, and his charm wins her over. Carol and Jake enjoy many days out together after their meeting at the bar. Soon, the two of them realize they're falling in love. One month after meeting, they decide to get married, certain a bright future awaits them both. Carol is at home when the phone rings. She hurries to answer it and is happy to hear from Jake. Jake says he just stopped at the gas station and will be home soon. Suddenly, however, the line goes dead. Unable to reach Jake when she tries to call him back and worried about what cut them off, Carol rushes to the gas station herself. She hopes she makes it in time. Jake was at the gas station when the phone went dead. Search for clues that might tell you what happened to him and where he is now. Stage complete. That's Jake's car, but I don't see him anywhere. He wouldn't have left his car here. I have a bad feeling about this. I've got to find him. Maybe if I look around, I'll find something to point me in the right direction.
stage complete. Javier, have you seen Jake? This is his car, but it seems like he just left it parked here for some reason. This I do not know, but I saw him. You did? Where? Right here. Hmm. Una hora. He and Billy, they argue. What were they arguing about? I do not know, senorita. I was only passing by. Thanks, Javier. Stage complete.
What? This is his car key. Leaving the car was one thing, but I know Jake would never go somewhere without making sure he had his key. Now I'm more convinced than ever that something happened. 